Hi, I'm Molly from Doodle. Today we're learning how to simplify ratios. Let's get started. First, let's connect what we already know by calculating the highest common factor of 16 and 20, which will help us with the rest of this lesson. To calculate the highest common factor of two numbers, we need to list all of the factors of each number first. The factors of 16 are 1, 2, 4, 8 and 16. The factors of 20 are 1, 2, 4, 5, 10 and 20. Well done if you've already worked out what the highest common factor is of these two numbers. The largest number that is a factor of both 16 and 20 is 4. Great, we've just earned our first Doodle star. Now we're ready to discover our new learning. Lena is learning about ratio. She says, I can see that for every 5 stars, there are 3 hearts. I can write this in the ratio 5 to 3. Lena then adds one more star. I can see now that there are six stars and three hearts. So we know that for every six stars, there are three hearts. Can you see which ratio shows this relationship? It must be six to three. Great, that's our second doodle star. Now, Lena says, for every six stars, I have three hearts. I can simplify this. For every two stars, I have one heart. We are told that another way of simplifying a ratio is to divide both numbers by their highest common factor. This is something we practiced at the beginning of this lesson in the Connect section. We need to find the highest common factor of six and three. I know that the factors of six are one, two, three and six and the factors of three are one and three. So the highest common factor must be three. Let's check. Excellent, that's another doodle star. This diagram shows that each part of the ratio can be divided by the highest common factor, which we've already worked out is three. We are reminded that ratio is always written in the same order as the parts listed. So here we have the six stars written first, followed by the three hearts. To work out this ratio in its simplest form, we need to divide both parts by three. So the ratio of stars to hearts in its simplest form is two to one. Let's find this in the list. Great. Here we have another example. We can see that Jay has picked some apples and pears to make a pie. For every four apples, he has 12 pears. The first step to calculating a ratio in its simplest form is to find the highest common factor. So the factors of four are one, two, and four. The factors of 12 are one, two, three, four, six, and 12. So the highest common factor of these two numbers must be Four. Let's check. Excellent. We can then use the highest common factor to divide both parts of the ratio to convert it into its simplest form. Four can be divided by four to get one. Twelve can be divided by four to get three. Remember, we must keep the parts written in order. So the ratio of apples to pears in its simplest form must be one to three. Great job, that's another doodle star. Finally, let's explore this a bit more by applying what we've just learnt to a real life situation. Jay is making a smoothie. For every three bananas, he uses 15 strawberries and 12 blueberries. The factors of three are one and three. The factors of 15 are one, three, five and 15 and the factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So the highest common factor of these three numbers has to be 3. Excellent, we can now divide each part of the ratio by the highest common factor of 3. 
So 3 divided by 3 is 1, 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Which do you think is the ratio of bananas to strawberries to blueberries in its simplest form? When you're ready, take a look at the description box to see what the answer is. If you enjoyed this video and would like to try some questions, create an account to try Doodle Maths for free. Visit doodlelearning.com or click the link in the description box below to get started. For more maths guides, like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching!